In Activity 10, Fruit Fly Life Cycle, students identify the stages in the fruit fly life cycle. They first define metamorphosis, then describe and compare characteristics of the fruit fly at each of the four stages in its life cycle. Finally, students complete a class chart of the life cycle of the fruit fly. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 10, magnifiers, fruit fly life cycle chart, and masking tape. You will also need to provide fruit fly culture, file folder from Activity 5, and a felt tip marker. To prepare for the activity, make a copy of Activity Sheet 10 for each student and tape the fruit fly life cycle chart to the front wall of the classroom. Make one copy of the fruit fly life cycle pictures. Cut the pictures apart so that there are four separate sheets and display them in random order at the front of the classroom. To begin the activity, have teams retrieve their fruit fly vials and a magnifier. Encourage students to observe the vials of other teams as well as their own. Ask students, are all the animals in the vials in the same form? Students should observe that the vials now contain living adult flies, dead adult flies, larvae, yellow pupil cases, and dark brown discarded pupil cases. Explain to students that metamorphosis is the process of change that fruit flies and other insects go through during their life cycles. Then ask, what form does the fruit fly have when it begins life? Students should respond that it begins as an egg. Direct the student's attention to the fruit fly life cycle chart. On the line below box one on the chart, write the word egg. Ask students, based on your observations and your knowledge of the characteristics of living things, how would you describe the characteristics of the egg? Students should respond that the egg is very tiny and does not move. Then, have a volunteer identify the picture of the fruit fly egg from the collection of pictures at the front of the classroom and tape the picture in box one on the chart. Ask students what stage happens next in the life cycle of the fruit fly. Help students understand that the egg produces a larva and write the word larva on the line below box two on the chart. Explain that larva comes from hatching eggs and ask students, based on your observations and your knowledge of the characteristics of living things, how would you describe the characteristics of the larva? Students should respond that the larval is a white, worm-like creature. Larval can also crawl, eat, and take in moisture. Have a volunteer identify the picture of the fruit fly larva and tape the picture in box two on the chart. Let the class know that larva turns into a pupa in the next stage of the fruit fly life cycle and write the word pupa on the line below box three on the chart. Ask students, based on your observations and your knowledge of the characteristics of living things, how would you describe the characteristics of the pupa? Students should identify that the pupa has a hard yellow case. The pupa does not eat or take in moisture, and the pupa stays in one place because it cannot move. Encourage students to identify samples of fruit fly pupae in their vials. Then ask a volunteer to identify the picture of the fruit fly pupa and tape the picture in box three on the chart. Inform students that in the next life cycle stage, the pupa turns into an adult fly and write the words adult fly on the line below box four on the chart. Ask students, where does the adult fruit fly come from? Students should know that the fruit fly develops within the pupa which grows darker in color as the fly develops. And when it is fully developed, the fruit fly emerges from the pupa. Ask students, based on your observations and your knowledge of the characteristics of living things, how would you describe the characteristics of the adult fruit fly? Students should describe the fruit fly as having six legs, two wings, and two eyes. The fruit fly can walk and fly. 
The fly can eat and take in water, and the fly can reproduce. Encourage students to identify adult fruit flies in their vials. Then ask a volunteer to tape the picture of the adult fruit fly in box four on the chart. Explain to the class that a generation is one complete life cycle of an organism, and that after one generation, the life cycle begins all over again to start a new generation. To illustrate the life cycle, draw arrows to connect the boxes on the chart. Inform students the word cycle comes from a Greek word that means circle or wheel. Write the word cycle and explain that it is used to describe a series of occurrences that repeats, just as a wheel turns around and around, the events in a cycle happen over and over again. Ask students, how does the term life cycle describe the growth and development that you have observed in the fruit flies? Students should understand that like a circle, the processes of life, growth, reproduction, and death are repeating, continuing from one generation to the next. Then distribute a copy of Activity Sheet 10 to each student and instruct them to complete them. Finally, inform students that in the next activity, Plants and Animals, they will compare the life cycle of plants and animals. To conclude the activity, have students return the fruit fly vials, magnifiers, and file folders to their designated area. Leave the chart in its display position and return the masking tape to the kit. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM Teacher's Guide.